Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to be taking characters from some of my favorite anime and cartoonifying them, seeing what they look like in a more westernized style, and talking about the differences. To start off, I wanted to start with one of my most recent new favorite anime, uh, and that is Spy Family. I've been collecting the volumes of manga as well as following along with the show, and I think it's just adorable. Um, it's really satisfying some part of my mind that has been kind of tired of stories about teenagers, because Spy Family is about adults and elementary school students, which is just a refreshing change of pace. Uh, this character is the adopted child of Lloyd Forger, um, and uh, her name is Anya. Uh, Anya is psychic and she ends up being the only one who really understands what's going on with all the adults in the story because they all have conflicting like espionage and different secrets they're keeping from each other and different conflicting goals and she's really the only one who actually knows what everybody's hiding so it ends up being a really interesting um, show and story because of that. Uh, so Anya in the show is a like super tiny little pink haired anime girl. She's got these little like horns on her head, kind of look like cat ears I guess, and uh, she's got like big green eyes and she's just super 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 cute. So when I'm drawing her in a more cartoony style I want to kind of lean more into the like the creepier and more high strung looking uh, styles of western cartoons. You know when I was growing up a lot of the cartoons that were popular like Chowder and Spongebob and you know there's they're shows that have like a slightly off kilter sometimes kind of spooky vibe to them. Edit and Eddie is another good example. Um, so I wanted to like take some of that super clean super cute anime style and like really crunch it up with thicker line art and um, a more unhinged look on her face. Um, it definitely has some like Jonan Vasquez like Invader Zim influence for sure. I think if Spy Family was made in the West and was a cartoon rather than an anime, I think they would really have focused more intensely on the pressure that Anya is under. It's a major part of the manga as well, um, but in the original story there's a lot of like very wholesome family dynamic stuff, um, whereas I feel like American cartoons usually would just completely ignore that and just focus solely on the kids perspective and really play up the anxiety inducing uh, nature of her knowing everything. I also think it's possible that if this was like somehow in an alternate universe where this idea was floating around to be a western cartoon that uh, the spy father and the assassin mother would end up being other kids like it would be like a friend group where there's a psychic character Anya and then she'd have two friends one of which is like I guess she couldn't be an assassin right so one of which I guess is just really physically adept like a ninja or something and then the other one would be a child spy um, so this would definitely have turned out to be a different show though I guess in the current age with shows like Star vs the Forces of Evil, Over the Garden Wall, and Steven Universe it's possible that there would be room for more like relationship building within the family um, but I still think it probably wouldn't go as deep as the anime does um, so it would definitely be a very different show I try to do a little bit of cell shading um, with only uh, some chalky shading that's like softer on her cheeks and I think she definitely looks very different um, the uh, the Anya of the manga uh, is a bit softer and uh, quite a bit cuter I think um, but I think that this cartoon styled version definitely has some charm to her as well this next anime came out last year and it was one of my favorites that I've seen in a long time. This is the mystery anime Odd Taxi. I think Odd Taxi got passed over by a lot of people and sort of ignored um, by the anime community because it has a kind of a weird style and it has like animal people rather than like your typical anime character. The story revolves around a taxi driver named Orokawa who is in the unfortunate situation of having given a taxi ride to somebody important to a missing person's case and now he has to deal with the police asking him questions, various characters want his dash cam footage, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's really interesting to see how a mystery like this um, revolves around a character who really doesn't want anything to do with it but can't help but be involved. 
Now I think if the show was a western show instead of a Japanese show, I think it would definitely have to be an adult cartoon. There's much too much serious topics in this despite the animals and in, in a strange way I almost feel like this show would have done better if it was um, a western show because I think that there's more of like a weird stigma of like the animal head people in the anime community than there is in the adult animation in the west community like Bojack Horseman I think kind of blew those doors open and I also think people are less picky with the look of adult anim animation in the west because frankly a lot of it's like hideous and still does really well um so yeah in a weird way i feel like odd taxi might have done even better but there's a lot of aspects of the story that are like very unique to japan i feel like so i don't i don't really think it could have happened here but regardless um i definitely think that there would be an emphasis on some of the edgier scenes so i'm actually drawing a uh, piece of art that is um, a scene from the show where a character who I can't tell you who it is because they're kind of masked and it's sort of important um, and I don't want to spoil it but uh, this character comes into this uh, club nightclub sort of cabaret bar situation and starts firing into the ceiling and is um, is trying to attack a certain character and it's very tense it's very uh, jarring um, and uh, I definitely think that this scene would be like the thing that they would advertise the show with if this was like an adult swim show um, rather than an anime uh, so I thought that this would be a perfect scene to sort of recreate in a different style um, the main thing I'm doing is like adding more uh, detail to it and making it look like shadowier and creepier than it did in the original like screenshots from the show um, I also just I'm gonna be honest I really really wanted to draw this scene because it left such an impact on me um, and uh, yeah, this, this character's whole situation and story um, was really intriguing and unique and I hadn't seen anything like it, I don't think ever. Um, again, I can't, I just can't, this is just gonna be me like <laughs> talking about anime I like so much, but I really, really think you should give it a try. Um, and yeah, I'm just putting this uh, cracked, broken phone in the background, partially for like the drama and partially because it, it pertains to this character um and he ended up looking a little bit like sans just because of the skull mask and the blue hoodie but i don't think there's any i don't think that's like a reference or anything that's just kind of how the character ended up looking um but now that i said it i i cannot see it anyway here he is try on taxi it's a great show the next anime I wanted to try drawing in a cartoony style is one of my all-time favorites. This is a much older anime, um, and I think it's just a classic at this point, but that is Madoka. Um, Madoka is an anime that I think a lot of people have hyped up, and uh, it's sort of stayed relevant for a long time. I mean, they kept releasing movies and offshoots and stuff, but generally I think it's because Madoka really changed like the feel of the magical girl genre in a major way. It's not that magical girl stuff hadn't been dark before or there hadn't been like serious magical girl stories before, but I feel like Madoka just like really made that mainstream and um, I ended up really loving this show and loving the characters in it so much. Um, so I definitely felt like in an anime redrawing video, I had to involve Madoka somewhere. So I decided to draw Madoka in her school uniform, um, the way that you see her at the start of the show. Um, I love her magical girl outfit as well, but this is kind of how I think of her just because she spends a lot of the show more dressed like this uh, than she does in her actual magical girl form. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I'll just briefly describe Madoka. So um, Madoka is a magical girl show, which means it's about young girls who are able to transform into like a different uh, like outfit basically. And um, then they're given like magical powers with which to fight off uh, these witches, which are um, not like not like the witches you would picture. They're like these big scary creatures that are sort of like collaged together. and. Um, they look really uh, off-putting and spooky and sort of like a child's drawing in some ways. The design of the witches is one of the best things about Madoka, I think, and uh, the characters just really stay with 
you. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's something that you should give a shot, but it is a little bit depressing sometimes. So um, just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so my main changes that I wanted to make with her is that uh, I wanted to give her hair a lot more like detail and sort of like texture to it. Um, I know I, I actually remember when Madoka first came out, there was a lot of people saying that they thought the art style was like ugly, which I never really agreed with, but I do understand why people say that because it's much more like choppy and weirder proportion than a lot of the anime that was popular at the time. This is when like super clean looking digital anime was getting really popular so seeing a show where the lines are actually like sketchy still on the face and around the eyes and it's like intentionally scribbly um, I think a lot of people perceived as like a negative thing. Um, I really love the art in the show and I think that the like collage together like mixed media stuff in it is like actually so revolutionary and all the Madoka imitators like almost never actually like imitate that part and I think it's such a shame because that's like one of the most innovative things that the show actually did um but yeah here she is in more of my art style I did the like under eye spikes and everything so this is more of like an internet art style I guess than maybe like mimicking a uh, a western show necessarily the next character I'm going to be drawing is Subaru Akehoshi, who is from the rhythm game Ensemble Stars. The creators of the game are actually sponsoring the video today, so a big shout out to the Ensemble Stars team. Um, there are tons of really great character designs in the game because it's like all about idols, um, but what stands out about Subaru in particular is his wholesomeness. He's very cute, um, sort of a sweet and energetic character, and I really like his color palette. Um, it's warm throughout except for his eyes which are blue so that kind of makes them stand out. Um, in order to transform him into my style, I tried to really fluff up his hair even more than it already is and make the details on his outfit chunkier. And of course, you know, I had to change the irises um, so that they're like a shape. And I decided to go with stars because uh, there's a couple different places where you can see stars on his design and I thought that would be sort of a cute little um, nod to the original design. Uh, he has a sort of royal feeling to his jacket, particularly with the fringe on his shoulders, but it transitions into more of a casual like street style look with the shorter sleeves and the simple white shirt underneath. I also decided to use a textured brush and add some deeper and more saturated red color to the tips of his hair um, just because that's something I do in my style a lot and I think it looks a bit more cartoony that way. Um, so here he is in my style. I hope you like the um, cartoonification and thank you again to the Ensemble Stars team. So that was me cartoonifying some of my favorite uh, anime into more of like a Western style. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave your all time favorite anime and your most recent favorite in the comments um, if you have any. And uh, I will try to give them a watch because I'm trying to get back into watching more anime and I really need suggestions because they're making a lot. Um, so it's kind of hard to wade through. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons, including Raven's Crow, Zocelot, Winter Heart, Harold Bird, T Hill Music, Tack Afton, Jabber Dabber Doo, Teddy Spaghetti, Avant Grape, Gender Was Stolen, For Spookable, Ah, it's Jamal! Kay, Rodrigo, Mumo, Kadaria, Deadly Night Shade Art, Maria Vasquez, Astro Fox Art, Middle Z, Dulce Mori VT, Lily Alert, The Expressive Poker Face, Morrissey Axolotl, Tsubaki, Michael Lavali, Cutie Pie, Ruin Rain Crow, Rainwater Pearls, Ice Cream Pal, Your Boy ST, JJ Jade, and of course, Lebelbele.